Hey there everybody, I want to talk about a problem I've had with this bad hard drive right here. It's not really bad necessarily, but when I'm DJing, I'm going to be playing a song, and it would act as if it were disconnected and reconnected really fast. Like it would do, do a number like this. So I'm just going to start start a song right here. And then it would do a number like this. It spins down, the music stops, and then it spins back up. And I've been wondering what the heck is going on with this thing. It's practically brand new. Music still looks like it's playing. So I gotta hit stop, and then when I go and hit start again, it works fine. Or not. So what I actually have to do is completely restart my Mixmeister program, I use Mixmeister 3, and it'll work. And I don't know if it's a problem with the hard drive itself, or for some odd reason it just shuts down and restarts. I thought originally, I thought originally that it was actually because there was a power sag. Everyone knows what a surge is, but a sag is where, I don't know if you can tell when you, when you turn on your washing machine at home, it actually, the power jumps down and all the lights dim for a split second. For this unit, that I've seen that happen too when I turn on a little little heater, it shuts off and turns back on real fast, like that. And what I got was an uninterruptible power supply. I use that all the time now for hooking up my laptop and my hard drive. But it still does it. And it did it last weekend. And what I'm actually gonna try is I'm going to use my backup hard drive. This is my backup one. It's newer. And they're both Western Digital. So I hopefully that will really work. So now i got my Mixmeister program back up here. And it works. So it's kind of a downer for me, but hopefully this backup hard drive works for me. And by the way, this is not only my backup hard drive. I also have another backup, which is right here. It's a simple drive. This one doesn't need external power. It runs right off the USB bus. And it has two plugs in here. Because it needs both of them to run it. Now the USB bus only handles up to 500 milliamps. And it needs, this drive needs a whole amp to run. So 500, 500, and then we'll start up. I also want to show you something really cool right now. This is great for syncing hard drives. It's called SyncToy. It's actually by Microsoft. I've been doing computer repair for years now, and I've only been getting into the DJ thing for about a year. And instead of completely copying the entire drive over again, all you have to do is sync it. So it looks at this drive, it looks at this drive, and it says, okay, there are files here that aren't here, there are files here that aren't here. But if you delete a file here, delete it here. Or if you delete a file here, you delete it here. I'm not sure how it, how it figures that out, but somehow it does. So I'm going to run SyncToy for you right now. And it is by Microsoft. You have to set up what's called a folder pair. And I'm going to hit Preview. This window's going to come up. It's going to read both hard drives. And it's going to give me a list what's called an operation. An operation basically is copy from one hard drive to the other or delete from one hard drive to the other. So you have exactly the same files on each hard drive and exactly the same folders. See, here we have a whole bunch of files that basically these are all brand new. I have 114 of them. So I'm going to copy those files from this hard drive, which is my regular one, to this hard drive so I can use it. Hopefully that was informative. Um, I'll give a link where you can find the sync toy. It's a great tool for backing up files. Thank you.